Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Climb Mojave Pro Gloves. What's up, Speed Addicts fans? Before we jump in and give you the down low on the Mojave Pros from Climb, do us both a favor, subscribe to that Speed Addicts channel right now. That way you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews coming your way. Speed Addicts is always getting first look at new gear. Subscribe, and that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaddicts.com, you can do so by shopping with us, and we really do appreciate your support. There's gonna be a link in the description below that'll get you right over to these Mojave Pro gloves at speedaddicts.com. While you're over there, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. And today we are talking about the Adventure Pros over at Climb. These guys are out of Idaho, and they make some of the best adventure off-road gear on the market today. The Mojave is one of their more stripped-down offerings. The Mojave Pro is one of their more stripped-down offerings. It's more of just your standard, you know, trail riding enduro glove here. A lot of their other gloves are built for adventure riding. They're built to withstand a slide on asphalt and have a little bit more armor. If you're working hard off-road in an enduro situation, or you're just trail riding, recreational riding, Mojave Pro is actually a great choice. Extremely perforated, comfortable with protection where it counts. Multiple colorways are available. $69 makes a set yours. We have CE Level 1 Certified Armor from X XRD on the outside of this glove and on the palm, more on that later. The fit is true to size. If you go by that cl climb sizing chart, you're gonna see sizes small through three extra large in the Mojave Pro. I'm usually about a large to extra large in most gloves. And that climb sizing chart for gloves is calling, um, a large calls for a size, a circumference measurement of nine to nine and a half. I'm nine and a quarter and I'm smack dab in a large and it feels excellent. Just a little snug out of the box. That's how you want it. This is goat leather. It is going to break in and stretch to your hand. Don't buy your gloves too roomy out of the box, especially if they are animal hides because they will break in uh, over a few rides and then they'll start to bunch on you. So get something that's nice and snug without causing discomfort and uh, you should be in great shape. To get your hand circumference, if you don't have a tailor's tape, just use a string, wrap it around your, the thickest part of your palm, lay that out next to a measuring tra tape, and uh, there you go, you'll be dialed in. Now when it comes to fit, remember you should be buying your gear from us here at SpeedX because we're gonna hook you up with no cost returns. We do not nickel and dime you like those other guys. You're gonna get a free return label in a few clicks if the gear doesn't work out for any reason. Just make sure it's brand new in the original packaging, try it on at home, and if you make sure you live in lower 48 states to get that free no cost return situation. Okay, back to the Mojave Pro glove here. We have a uh, lycra, lycra material between your fingers here. So it's got a nice stretch to it. While the chassis is mostly goat hide with some nylon panels here, you do have that lycra stretch between the fingers, which makes gloves very comfortable out of the box. You don't have to wait for them to break in to be rideable and they don't hurt your fingers here. Fingertip seams are pretty good. The way this is stitched, I'm not getting those awkward seams kind of ramming into the, uh, the end of my fingers, which I really do like. Now, the star of the show on the Mojave Pro is this XRD um, armor package here. So it starts on your knuckles here across the back of your fingers and works its way onto the back of the hand. Kind of an interesting design. Looks like a crop circle or something crazy. Uh, I don't know, these are DNA strands. I don't know what they're going for here. Kind of a futuristic look. But you have one big pad on the outside of your hand and then one uh, strip down your index finger knuckle. These will pick up branches or you know any sort of light duty uh, impacts that you might find out on the trail. Plenty of mesh. This thing's gonna ventilate really well. If you're in hot temps, again, you're working hard. Uh, enduro, in the woods where it's humid, something like that. You're gonna get lots of airflow through this because of the mesh and because of this extremely perforated palm. This is all TPU armor, and they do have an armor pad on the all-important carpal bones. I know I've definitely taken a few hard get-offs in the dirt and, and slapped my palms really hard here. Nothing on the scaphoid side. You do just get that big base uh, pad right here. That pretty much does it for the armor. More mesh up at the top of the hand. Climb's always great about having a nice pull tab here or a pull strap to help you get into the glove. I really like that about most climb gloves. Simple Velcro here. There's a snap that'll allow you to connect it to your other glove so that when you throw them in your gear bag, they don't 
lose each other and become orphaned. We don't want any orphaned gloves. Here we go. Let's switch it over to the palm here. Again, extremely perforated goat hide leather with a real nice stretch to it. It's one of the reasons they use goat. It's because not only is it more affordable than bovine leather, they're able to get it nice and thin, control the stretch, control the feel. No bunching here. You got smart compatible, smart screen compatible index and thumb fingers here. In case you didn't know, they put a little lightning bolt on there to remind you that you can use your device. That's nice. Most of the traditional motocross gloves and enduro gloves that I've used over the past few years, not all of them, actually most of them are not smart screen compatible. So it's cool to see that the Mojave Pros got that. And then you notice you got a goggle wiper right here on uh, your left index finger. There's not one on the right. So you can take your hand off that handlebar and give yourself a wipe should you need to. <clears throat> Again, very perforated. This thing's gonna flow lots of air. It's touchscreen compatible. You're gonna get a two year warranty from Climb. It's a great Enduro glove for $69. Hard to miss here. Fits great, runs true, easy call. If you're looking for a new set of Enduros, check it out, Climb Mojave Pro. If I did not answer your question, don't worry, Rider Support is always standing by at speedaddicts.com where you can always talk to a human over email, live chat, or phone support. If you got a set of the Mojave Pros, let us know how you like them in the comment section below. That does it for today, folks. We'll see you next time to find out what is in the crate.